Let's see how to run Laravel's scheduler here. So what we want to do is periodically, once every minute usually, run a PHP artisan schedule run, right? This is typically run on a cron command or via a cron task, right? Cron will, once a minute or so, whatever you configure, run uh, artisan schedule run, and that will kick off whatever we have in our code in Laravel scheduler, right? Every minute, every five minutes, every hour, whatever you have configured, this will run some code, a command or a uh, job that is kicked off to the queue, whatever you have configured in your application. We want this to run in our application so we can schedule stuff to run. So how do we do this on fly? Well, it's very much like the video we have on running the queue worker. We edit our fly toml and we can add to our processes group here. So if you don't have a processes block, you just add one. Make sure you have your app uh, here with an empty string because this will run just the default uh, command that is set in your uh, Docker image that fly runs. In other words, it'll spin up your web server and all that stuff, which is what the app process is for. We've added a worker process here in the video on uh, queue workers. And this time we're gonna add a new process called cron. Now remember, these can be named whatever you want. We're gonna just name this one cron. And the command we're gonna run is cron-f. Uh, the dash F flag is to get cron into the foreground so that the virtual machine um, you know, can monitor that process and keep that process running in um, in the VM that gets spun up for the cron process. So remember, processes here each spin up their own virtual machine, right? So the app is one virtual machine or more if you scale up. The worker is another virtual machine. The cron uh, process here is a third virtual machine. So we're gonna have at least three. But if we scale out workers or scale our apps or whatever, we're gonna have you know more machines. But you can scale them out separately, which is nice, right? So uh, maybe I'll have one app, uh, four worker servers, and one cron server. It only makes sense to have one cron usually. But, you know, if you have uh, funky use cases for your app, you spin up more for your cron process. That's fine. So what I can do here is just save and quit this. All I had to do is add that process. And then we can do fly deploy and fly. We'll see that there is no process named cron uh, existing right now. So it's going to go ahead and create a virtual machine for that with a default of its one machine. You know, I didn't scale it up at all. So it's just going to be one single virtual machine spun up for this. We see. We think. Okay, so here, so no machines in group cron, so it's launching a new machine. Great. Let's go see what happens when that finished. And it did finish, so we can do fly status again. We will see we have one app and one worker, but two cron processes here. So uh, once again, there's a standby machine. If one fails, uh, if the underlying host fails for the main cron process, then the standby will spin up and take over. You only ever pay for one virtual machine at a time because the second one's on standby. It's not actually running. Okay, so uh, why does this actually work? If we check out our Docker file, maybe I'll cat it out instead of edit it in Vim, we'll see um, part of the installation process here echoes out this line and it's gonna run as user data php uh, artisan schedule run. That gets saved to a file in etsy cron.d.laravel or etsy cron.d slash laravel. And that Laravel file, you know, just defines this cron task. And cron is automatically gonna read files in this directory and run them. So every minute it's gonna run our scheduler for us. We don't have to do any extra configuration if you're using the Docker setup that you get out of the box when you run fly launch in a Laravel application. Okay, and that's really all there is to it, right? We uh, added to the processes section of our fly.toml file. We added a process, we named it cron. We uh, did a fly deploy and then uh, fly saw that there was no cron process available there. It's not set up already. So it created it. And keep in mind that any process you defined is going to spin up a new virtual machine for that process. One or more. If you scale up, then you can have more, right? So fly is going to create a new virtual machine for our cron process and it's going to run and it's going to run our Laravel schedule command. It's as easy as that.